hello folks and welcome back we're getting some new tires on this beast it's uh it's a little long overdue as you can see with that with the videos that i posted going to cape breton these tires uh the best lights out of them for sure if it was summertime you know i'd probably keep running them for a bit but being it that it's winter not a good idea there's not much left to them they're bad enough um when you're driving empty but when you got something behind you woo, not good not good so of course you know being me i'm not going to go with the stock size i don't think i ever have done that my 550 i stick to stock so my 550 you know that's a designated tow rig um i don't personally drive that you know at all that is so i, I stay with stock on that with this no so stock is 225, 70, 19.5s. Um, I'm going bigger than that. You'll have to wait and see what, what I'm going with. I'm staying with my stock wheels, for now at least. But I'm not going with anything, you know, crazy because 19.5s you can't get. You're kind of limited to what size you, you can get. And right now, trying to get tires is, man, it is difficult. But I got a really good set. I'm heading out to uh, to my buddy's shop in New Ross, uh, Hughes Diesel. My buddy, my buddy Larry, he's gonna he's hooking me up. I'm gonna get him a change of oil in this thing while he has it. Then I'm gonna grab the 350, which is there, and I'm gonna head to the valley and do some work. So I'm gonna pull over at my old high school, and I'm gonna measure um, the front, like the air dam. I'm gonna measure the back, and I'm gonna measure one of the tires, and then I'll do the same thing after I get these tires put on. And we'll see how much see how much bigger they actually are because they should be pretty significant in the size difference. One thing I definitely wanted to show was my RPM. So 10th gear RPM doing 110 kilometers an hour is right at like 2,000, just a touch below 2,000 RPM. So it'd be interesting to see what what it is with the new tires and that engine light that is still on from I haven't had a chance to take this back to the dealer yet that is still on from when I got this truck back with my uh, my battery junction box a fuse panel box uh, when that all messed up and they rewired everything I don't know they don't I don't know if something's wrong with the wiring because it shows up as a as a as a reductant heater fault or something reductant whatever so I actually got a new scanner sent to me, which I'm gonna try. I tried to reset it with my with my Banks iDash and it comes right back. I haven't tried to use Forescan yet, but I'm gonna try with this new reader and, but it still does need to go in the dealer anyway because the truck still has some, some quality issues that they gotta take care of. But that's the light, nothing wrong with the powertrain or nothing like that. So hopefully that will soon be gone. All right guys, so here they are. 225 70 19.5s the uh, these are the these are the stock ones the conti hybrid hd threes so these originally are an open shoulder you can see but they're not open anymore so there's nowhere for this to get it to escape it's trapped in here but these have like 60,000 kilometers on them and i've hauled a lot of weight you guys know that and these rear ones actually have held up very 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 well so the front ones, I had to swap those out because they were wearing, wearing really, really weird. So I replaced them again with the stock size, but these are a Michelin XDS2. And these are actually the ones that I wanted to get. These are the ones that I preferred to find. I could find them in a, in a certain size, but I couldn't find them in the size that I wanted. And coming around to this one, these were secondhand. This one's ready to pop. So it's, I put, I paid 70 bucks for these. I don't know how long these sat out in, in the in the weather for, but this one's ready to go. So this one, you know, I can't wait any longer. That's ready to explode. So I'm gonna see, first off, measurement on the front air dam off the ground. We're at like 10 and a half inches. 10 and a half inches to the air dam. Now let's go to the back. I'm gonna try to park in the same spot. And we'll just go right through here up to the top 
22 and a half to the bottom of the sort of step here in the back bumper. And then we'll go to the tire, right up through the center to the top, we're at 31. So they're 31 inch tire right now, worn down slightly, or you know, quite a bit. All right guys, well we are cruising with the new tires. Just letting the truck get warmed up. Not pushing on it at all right now. We don't gotta push on this truck anyway, it's got so much power. But if you guys can see in the mirror, the tires are just inside the fender well. Just inside the fender well. So I'm gonna pull over up where I pulled over earlier and I'll show you guys the tires. I won't be able to do a measurement on it <clears throat> like I, you know, from before and after right now because I still have the excavator. I got the four ton hooked up in the back. So the first trip with the new tires, we're hauling. Big surprise, big surprise. So yeah, I went with 265. So 265, 70, 19.5s. Uh, they work out to be like two inches taller and uh, an inch and a half wider. So they're wider, they're taller, they're obviously heavier, you know, all that stuff. Um, so far they feel very, very good. I don't really feel, I don't really feel any power loss. They're super quiet. But when I pull over up here, I'll show you guys what I went with for a tire and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, it's definitely a good size tire on a 19.5 wheel. The 22.5s would look a bit better, I, I would, I think, but I didn't want to spend money on wheels. Didn't want to. And I think it looks way better now. Looks is one thing, uh, performance is another. So probably 245s is the sweet spot for this truck. 245, 70, 19.5s is probably like the sweet spot. Um, these are, you know, as big as you'd want to go, I think, on this truck if you're hauling weights and all that. Um, but right now it feels, feels awesome right now. So I'll show you and then we'll get on the highway and I'll get up to speed like I was on the way here and we'll see what I'm getting for RPM. All right, here we are. She looks like a mean rig now. Check it out. Man, it looks so much better. So much better. Look at the clearance in the front. Much more clearance. I'll straighten my wheel out here in the front. I should have thought of that. And we'll see like the offset. So here's the front look. It still turned a little bit, just, just barely out past the fender. You can see here, basically right in line with the fender. And then in the back, just inside the fender, basically flush with it. And it's basically flush with the, with the mats, with the mud guards. It looks so good when the trailer's not hooked up from behind. Fills out the, the, the hips really, really, really nice. So there they are. It looks so much better. It looks like a real truck now, to be honest. So I'll show you guys the tires. So they are a Michelin and they are the XDE2 Plus. And of course they're they're heavy rated. They're uh, they're a wicked tire. Like they're they're a wicked tire. Mud and snow. Um, they are regroovable. But there's the tread pattern. Open shoulder, basically all the way down, which is nice because the Continentals were like barely even halfway. But these are a very nice looking tread pattern. You can see what it leaves behind. Lots of room for snow and mud to get thrown out. But yeah, man, oh man, it looks so much better. So much better. Oh, buddy. Definitely from the front, looks big and beefy now. Obviously from the side, it looks great. But look at that profile from the front. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta do something with these wheels. I'm gonna paint them or dip them or something. But man, oh man, does that ever look good. So uh, after I unload the, the machine, I'm gonna take the machine home and I'm gonna head to the, head to the garage, head to the shop, and I will um, take a measurement to see how much higher we got. Because when you sit the tires up against the old tire, up against this one, it's like three inches in the difference. <laughs> but I got full range. It doesn't rub anywhere. You can see lots of room, no rubbing. It gets a little bit close to the front fender. Not really. And then coming in the other way. It keeps wanting to kick back, but still got lots of room, tons of room. All right, well, let's see how they handle on the highway here. See what my RPMs are. I won't be able to do a mileage test, but we'll see what the RPMs are. And they're off by like five, six kilometers an hour. So it's pretty substantial. The, the the speed change from one to the other. I will put up in the screen right now the uh, factory size and then this size. So here we are. The uh, truck says we're doing 102 kilometers an hour, and we're at like 1,800 RPM. So we've lost about close to 2,000 RPM on actual speed because actually we're going 108, 109 kilometers an hour. So the speedometer is off by like six to seven, like you know, like six kilometers an hour right now so that is substantial that shows right there how much bigger these tires are than um, than the stock ones but you can tell here on the highway nice and quiet beautifully quiet drives nice and straight down the road hands off the steering wheel um, this truck did have a little bit of a uh, crooked steering wheel like I find every single Ford does basically um, now it seems like it is exaggerated a little bit more so I will have to crawl underneath the truck and uh, and and straighten it out because you can see there is some crown in the road but you can see the per the steering wheel is not perfectly straight it's aimed towards the passenger side just a little bit but man oh man this it feels great we're still in 10th gear 1800 rpm we've got about 14,500 pounds behind us so doing pretty good but yeah it doesn't really feel any different at all sitting back here driving other than the fact that i'm up here higher and i got a better look over the road and uh it definitely looks better from out there but i'm gonna go drop off this machine and then i'm gonna head to the to the to the shop to the garage and I'm gonna unload the tires because I kept five of the tires. I'm gonna unload those and uh, I'll do some measurements and show you guys how much bigger these are. And uh, I will eventually do a fuel mileage test just to see what we get for fuel mileage now because the computer's not gonna read right. It's reading the miles, the mileage wrong, so it's not gonna read the, it's not gonna calculate the fuel properly. It will actually show that it's worse than what it actually is, is what it will show because the mileage is lower compared to what it's using for fuel but and then uh, and then you know when I hook on to my big machine either my 8 ton or my 9 ton with the diamond C you guys will definitely come with me on that first trip to see you know how it does on the hills towing you know 32,000 pounds most hills it could do an eighth before I figure it will definitely have to drop down to seventh now but that's not the end of the world seventh is one to one and as long as it can you know be pretty close in in performance i'll be super happy all right so trailer is unhooked zero well five pounds in the airbags that's as low as you can go i'm not sure what the measurements were before i think it was like ten and a half in the front here or something I'm pretty sure it was ten and a half all right so we're at 12 
We're at 12 there right now. So that's an inch and a half. I believe it was 12, uh, 10 and a half. I don't remember the back at all. Uh, 22 and a half maybe? I'm just guessing numbers here. So now we're at 25. 25 here. Uh, I don't know, this was 31. And now we're at 33 and a half. 33, yeah, well 33 and a quarter, I guess. So what I'll do now is I'll grab one of these tires and I'll put up next to one of the other ones. So this is one of the ones that was on the back. And there's the difference. <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. And actually there's a little bit of a, it's kind of sitting on a little bit of a hump right out there. So it's actually a bit higher than that, but you can see really good from this side how much bigger these ones are. Well, I've been driving around for a few minutes now. Oh, for a little bit, I guess, um, with Uh, with no trailer on and uh, you know, it's a 450 the truck is still still rough these roads are not smooth in any means, but Definitely a little bit of a smoother ride uh, With these on compared to the stock ones, you know, you're talking about an extra three inches of rubber There compared to the stock one. So it is it is a bit of a smoother ride um, You know not super noticeably like you're not gonna get in this truck and it's gonna feel like a half ton That's definitely not gonna happen, but it is actually uh, it is actually a smoother ride. So it actually must have been that that one sort of section of road because the steering wheel now is is pretty good. It's it's always been off a little bit to the passenger side and it really isn't any different. So uh, I don't think it made any difference. But when you do you know lift trucks, it can throw that off. So there is adjustments you can make. There's an adjustment I can make too. But honestly, you know what? This truck is. Uh, still under warranty it's gonna be under warranty for a while so when it goes in to get the knickknack stuff taken care of i'm gonna tell them that i want my steering wheel straight that's the beauty of having a new vehicle you uh you demand things to be done and they, sh they should be but you know here we are again on the highway and you can't hear a difference at all beautiful absolutely beautiful i'm super super happy with this right now i'm doing i don't know like 95 according to the speedometers so i'm probably doing about 102 or so and we're at 1600 rpm that's nice you like the new tires buddy oh oh, oh yeah you like the new tires yeah, no, you leave the window down, okay? So that, that way you can't lock the doors. That one down? <laughs> okay, leave them down. All right, guys, so uh, it looks like Bauer approves. So here's a look. Again, looking sharp. Everything's a muddy mess now. It was like minus 15 here the last couple days, and it's like zero right now, and it's a muddy mess. Here's down the side of the truck again. It's got the blinkers going. Now you can get a good look from behind. And damn, it looks good from behind. So nice and big, beefy, solid looking. Look at the nice tread it leaves in the driveway. Down this side, it's like flush with everything like flush it's perfect it's it's absolutely perfect all right guys well that is going to do it for this video um obviously stay tuned i'll have tons of towing videos going on once i hook up to the big trailer the big machine we're getting a crap load of snow tomorrow it looks like so i'll get a chance to test these out in the snow yeah um if you're looking at getting 265s on your truck so far i've got nothing but good things to say um these new 10 speeds, these new these new power strokes are so powerful, I don't notice any difference at all in power. And they're like two and a half to three inches taller than what they were before, inch and a half wider. It just looks so good. Definitely doing something with the wheels. Have to wait and see what I decide to do with that. 
but for now that's going to do it so until next time take care stay safe and we'll see you then bye hey can you say bye bye everybody bye say have a good day i drive a truck have a good day okay say have a good day everybody okay bye <laughs>